What double reeded wind instrument can you play underwater? The H two O bow. Welcome to the stream, my friends. Happy Thursday. Thank you very much for being here tonight. I hope everyone is doing well. We've got a uh, dead zergling first in chat. Along with Game and Fit, Conga Line Monkey, Lucent Jelly, and Chozo Brain. Welcome in, my friends. Welcome in. <laughs> that joke is a no go. <laughs> H2OMG, Jelly says. <laughs> oh. Game and Fit says, I've taken the plunge. Now I have less hair on my head than Lex Luthor. <laughs> I've been uh, I've been known to do that before. Take it all off the top. It's uh, it's all right. It's uh, I feel like it's kind of difficult to maintain it like that. So I usually my hair usually goes in a cycle. I uh, I basically I basically buzz it all completely away and then just let it grow until it bothers me and then repeat <laughs> my hair always looks terrible <laughs> it's a good thing i have a lot of beanies uh. <laughs> you tell that joke and have the audacity to ask how we're doing conga says <laughs> oh welcome to jump king everyone <laughs> We're going to play a couple hours of this tonight, and then we're going to play Battletoads. I know it's not Tuesday, but we got really close with Battletoads. I think we're going to play that again tonight as well. Make another run at it. Maybe even beat Genesis Battletoads if we're really lucky. It kind of all depends on how the snake level goes. That's the, uh, that's the only really yucky part. I mean, there's a lot about Genesis Battletoads to not like, but that's the only part where we'll really, like, bleed away tons and tons of lives, I think. Everywhere else, you know, we'll lose a reasonable amount of lives. And, I don't know, depending on how that goes, we may have time for something else. Um, I'm gonna try and stay on time with our BRBs. <laughs> Because, uh, as in taking them, I may be gone for an extended period when we take a BRB. Our doggo, Arthur, is, uh, a little sick currently. <laughs> and, uh, if I don't get to him in time to take him out, then there is a, uh, a high probability of a significant mess to clean up while I'm away. <laughs> so I'm going to try and remember. Try to remember to take him out right around the two hour mark. He was good. He was good for three hours earlier. So, if I try to remember to take him out around the two-hour mark, I've got a little wiggle room to to go a little bit over. <laughs> Maybe. Ah, uh, I get a haircut once a year in summer. Chozo says haircuts are too expensive. I shaved my own hair last year. Fortunately, I've got uh, fortunately I've got Jelly to uh, assist me. Yeah. 
I've uh I've shaved my own hair off before, but uh you know, from time to time, but <laughs> it's much easier to just to, it's much easier when you have an extra set of helping hands. Picked up an electric scalp shaver. They're good for maintaining a shortcut. Uh but not for waiting a week or two. It's more of a once every other day thing. Yeah. Um, just a moment, just a moment. Thank you for the coffee jelly. I've got coffee again. It's been a while. Ooh, it's so hot. It's threatening to burn me through the mug. Hey, Mansta, welcome in. Hope you're doing well tonight. And Derek Ocean, welcome in. Thank you for joining us as well. Me and my buddy saw the Garfield movie today. It was really good. Right on. I think I saw the original live-action Garfield movie. I don't really remember it. I was a big fan. I was a big fan of Garfield when I was a kid. I liked the cartoon, the, uh, the Garfield and Friends cartoon and I would I would read the uh, I would get those big anthologies of the comic strips and read them I know Garfield's been around for like a million years and every strip is basically the same but <laughs> there's some winners in there Uh, my wife cut my hair for the first time in over a year today, Mansta says. You feeling fresh, Frowny? Well, I haven't had a, uh, I haven't had a haircut. Um, I was just, uh, we were just, you know, just gabbing about haircuts in general. But I, uh, I haven't had one in a while. Well, when did I have my last haircut? April? Maybe April, I think. Jelly, uh jelly trim my hair back I know it was before I know it was before the uh, Shakespeare night but not right before Uh, I decided I'm going to fast again today. I think I'm going to make a regular Monday, Wednesday, Friday thing, at least until I get down to a weight I want to be, Gaming Fit says. Went to the scale today and gained two pounds on water alone. <laughs> Tomorrow will be the real deal. I wish you luck, Gaming Fit. try to be I try to be careful I try to be careful about the handing out of unsolicited advice because for one my advice is worthless <laughs> but conversationally it's hard not to sometimes just uh, take care of yourself my friend don't uh, don't do anything too risky please I used to, I used to regularly, I used to regularly impl implement a fasting day into my, into my routine. There was a, a long stretch of time where I would fast from sundown on Friday to sundown on Saturday. But eventually, eventually I broke that fast. <laughs> a 
but I've uh, I've uh, I've done I've done fasting as like a uh, like a meditative slash like discipline practice um, off and on throughout the years. Um, the longest was uh, the longest for me was three days. Which is, you know, not not an incredibly long time to fast, but it was a while. Coffee time. That was such a good cartoon, Conga says. Yeah, I, uh, I really, I, the thing is, I don't remember it in its specifics, the Garfield cartoon, much anymore. I remember, like, I remember bits and pieces of it. And I remember, like, re recurring sort of, uh, gags and stuff like that, but I can't, like, I couldn't summarize the plot of, like, any, like, particularly great episodes. It's been a long time. It's been a real long time since I've seen it. I wonder, I wonder how watchable I'd find it if I were to stumble on it today. You should see the movie if you like Garfield. I had a great time. I might, I might check it out if it shows up in a, if it shows up on Amazon Prime for free eventually. I might check it out one evening. Someone made a comment about Heathcliff, and I was like, that's just a knockoff of Garfield. Uh, really messed me up when I found out that Heathcliff came first. I, I uh, yeah, I feel like I was stunned by that as well. I know there was a, so I never read in the Heathcliff comics. I never, I don't think I ever came across them. Um, I, there was a Heathcliff cartoon for a while. I feel like I saw it once or twice, but I was just like, this isn't Garfield. Get it off my screen. <laughs> I wonder I wonder how I'd feel about it if I gave it a chance, though. It was three years earlier than Garfield. And the original, the original Garfield... I don't know what Heathcliff originally looked like, but the original Garfield was uh, a lot more cat-like, too. Like, I think, like, not only, like, did Garfield come later, but my assumption, and this is just an assumption, I have done no research, my assumption is that Garfield became more Heathcliff-like over time. Body goes through cycles of water retention. Anything gained from water uh, will be shed automatically, Conga says. I believe, uh, I believe, according to We Fit, it's normal to it's normal to fluctuate. Plus or minus two pounds in any, at any given on any given day. For reasons like water retention. Intermittent fasting is potentially dangerous, especially for people with diabetes and children, but no worries, I've got it covered. 
Worst case scenario, I need 500 calories on fasting days and still be okay. If I'm just super hungry that day, I won't deny myself. Three days, wow. I could go on about fitness, but I really prefer Garfield, Konga says. <laughs> Goes to get a tray of lasagna. Uh. When, uh, when I was in third grade, when I was in third grade, we were made pen pals with students from another school who, I've never thought about this before, but who may or may not have even existed <laughs> because we never met, we never met these students. This could have all been an elaborate ruse pulled by my teacher, <laughs> but this is alleged, allegedly, supposedly, I had a pen pal when I was in third grade. And the only thing that I remember about my pen pal was that they told me that Garfield was their idol. That is the only... <laughs> All these years later, I remember absolutely nothing that, that I wrote to this pen pal or that this pen pal wrote to me. Except that they told me in probably their first letter, Garfield is my idol. I think I remember that because I think I didn't know what the word was. I didn't. I don't think I knew what the word idol meant back then. Reminds me of the I Like Turtles kid. I'm guessing that's a... I'm guessing that's a popular internet meme. I Like Turtles. I don't know if I know what that refers to, though. Yes. I can't place it. I can't place the story in my, in my mind anywhere. We had pen pals in third grade. <laughs> Conga, maybe you're my long lost pen pal. Was Garfield your idol in third grade? <laughs> uh, we later went on a field trip to their school to meet them. It turned out that the number of students was uneven and my pen pal was pinning to another one of my classmates on the side. <laughs> oh. The betrayal. Garfield has always been my idol. Uh. Oh. 
Also, when I was in, uh, when I was in third grade, I, uh, I was in third grade. Our teacher had this, uh, she had this stuffed animal of, of Peter Rabbit. And he had a journal. And every weekend, every night, very frequently, I don't know how frequently, it can't have been every night, probably every weekend, um, a different student would take Peter Rabbit home and take the journal and then you had to write a page about, about what you, what you and he did, like, all weekend. And then come back and read it and read it to the class. And at the end of the at the end of the school year in class, the we held an we held an auction that uh, basically basically our teacher she had this like system where like good behavior was rewarded with like up to three like classroom dollars every day and so like you banked you banked dollars throughout the school year for the auction at the end of the year and one of the items that was auctioned away was the was the peter rabbit stuffed animal and his journal and i am the student that won that at the auction so i so i still somewhere somewhere i still have that uh that journal from when we were in third grade and I think that that is a very cool and strange thing to have. <laughs> I'm still I'm still Facebook friends. I think with uh, some people that I went to school with in that I was in third grade with and sometimes I think if I ever come across that journal I wonder how weird it would be if I like found their entry or entries and like scanned them and emailed them to them or sent them to them on Facebook in a private way I don't feel like you should, I should like you know, like publish that <laughs> I mean, not that there's not that there's anything like particularly well, that I remember unsavory, <laughs> but uh, I sometimes I sometimes think about that. Says the guy who hasn't logged into his Facebook account since 2011, probably. <laughs> If you get a message from me on Facebook, what that probably means is someone has hacked my dormant account and is using it for a scam. <clears throat> so beware. If you ever get a friend request from someone that looks like me. Don't send them any iTunes gift cards. The only time I did something like that, I posted my class photo from kindergarten on Facebook and said, hard to believe all these kids are in prison now. I got a lot of unhappy reactions. Uh. Oh, that's that's priceless. <clears throat>
is this drinkable? Our PB, by the way, if you haven't been here for the playthrough, our PB is a region called the Halted Ruin. And it's the... Now you may have noticed that they're... Every now and then the environment kind of changes themes. We've got the, the Cat Mansion here. And then above this is the Phantom Tower. And above the Phantom Tower is the Haunted... The, the Halted Ruin. And that, that's the highest zone that I've reached. So... Theoretically... You know, we should be able to... We should be able to make it at least that high. I've been up there... I've been up there five or six times. But, uh... No, pro no progress in this game is permanent. <laughs> usually, once you, like... Usually, once you clear an area once, it, like... It becomes easier to repeat that success. I know it's just an issue of like, you know, once you get through an area, you've had practice at the whole area, and you've had practice at most of it repeatedly to to get through it the first time. And so like once you once you break through once, it like it suddenly becomes a lot easier to do it again. But it and like I know that's an internal thing. <laughs> Which is a result of which is just a result of practice and familiarity, but it 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 really feels external to me. It feels to me like once you leave an environment, something in the game unlocks, like the physics secretly change in the background to make it easier to get out every time. It doesn't. doesn't feel like a reflection of my growing skill because your your skill at least in my experience my skill in this game if it even exists grows so slowly that the change is just imperceptible <laughs> but all games are kind of like that like uh It seems that it seems that like once you do something once in a video game, my experience has always been if I do something once, it's it's super hard to do the first time, and then every time after that, it's way 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 easier. <laughs> like no no matter how difficult the first success was to achieve, the second is always astronomically easier. <laughs> Hey, ghost. Welcome in. Are you winning, son? I'm trying to make you proud. But no, I'm very decidedly not winning. <laughs> 
Jump King. Jump King is long stretches of not winning, followed by, if I'm lucky, suddenly winning. <laughs> it's not a it's not a long process of gradual winning. It's a it's a long process of gradual failing. <laughs> And then a sudden victory out of nowhere is the is the, the story of Jump King. I feel. It's all right though. It's not. It's not. It's not doom and gloom. <laughs> You know, I'm I'm sometimes I'm sometimes unhappy when I play this, but I'm never hopeless. Um, it's I know I have absolute I have absolute confidence we will eventually beat this. I have I have been hopeless with the game before, but never again. My uh, my outlook changed. Yeah, the the ghost of the babe is the third quest in the game so we we've hit credits a couple times so I'm uh once I once I hit credits for the first time my entire like outlook and relationship with this game completely changed now I have no now I have no doubts I just if I'm willing to pay the time debt and the time debt may be colossal <laughs> But if I'm willing to pay it, we will win, so. And I'm very willing to pay it. Hey, Loyal, welcome in. Thank you for the stretch break. Get to that in just a, just a moment. Well, we're back down here. This is a good place for a stretch. Hope you're doing well tonight. Hope everyone's having a frowny day. The finest. I hope everyone's having the finest of frowny days. Alright, let's stretch for a while. Save your points up, my friends. The spicy wheel is coming back next week. I think it's going to be a little simplified, though. A lot of the items that were on the wheel need to be retired because, uh... They've been on there for a while, and I think that their, uh... Quality has deteriorated to where I'm no longer interested in consuming them. We're celebrating Halloween on the stream next week. We're going to play spooky games. We're going to do a marathon of Adam's Family games. I'm going to play as many as I can get through. It'll just be a variety of titles from the NES, Super NES, Genesis, Game Boy. We're going to do as many as I can get through. And on the last day of the week... We're going to change completely and do Friday the 13th on the NES. Well, we're going to start Friday the 13th on the NES. I don't know. I don't think I'm going to beat it. Because <laughs> I'm going to try and play the game as blind as possible. And uh, I know it has a reputation for being very difficult and obtuse. But I'm going to give it my best shot.
If you're stretching along at home, make sure you take a moment to stretch your legs. Move your, uh, move your ankles around. Alright, now let's get back to it. That was a great stretch. I'm feeling, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good, Loyal. Worst part about doing the Halloween thing next week is it means I've got to finish. <laughs> I've got to finish putting this room back together. My room is such a disaster down here. There's so much work to do. So I'm gonna have a I'm gonna have a very busy weekend. <laughs> wanna get wanna get my games shuffled around and reorganized. Gotta get all the clutter up off the floor. Get some decorations out. I like stretching along at home as well, right on. Always highly encouraged. I'm a, uh, I'm a, I'm an advocate of a, of a good hearty stretch. If we can, uh, so I, I didn't play this game for, uh, when's the last time we played this? I don't think we played it this week, have we? It was all Animal Well and Strawberry Shortcake. Yeah, so it's been, it's been almost a week since we played Jump King. So if I can, if I can tie our PB tonight, it'll be a real victory because I'm, I'm theoretically very rusty from a week of no play. So we might not, we might not, we might not make it, make it to our PB tonight. But uh, if we can, I'll feel, I'll feel, I'll feel, I'll feel good, even if we don't make it anywhere new. The night is fairly young, so. I shouldn't be I shouldn't be concerned that we're not really doing great yet because it's I've only been playing you know not even an hour yet oh I need to uh, I need to step away a moment <laughs> sorry I'll be right back with you I've got some laundry going <laughs>
so every now and then I gotta remember to go and shuffle the shuffle the things around the machines. I think I'm going to I think I'm going to re-inventory my physical game collection soon. I hate to do it. I hate to do it because it's gonna be a ton of work. But I did I did a complete inventory a couple years ago. I've got like I've got like somewhere around a thousand games that I own physically. I know it's higher than that because there are some collections I've never inventoried. Um, there's smaller collections, but, and I've gotten, I've gotten a lot of stuff that's just been piled up that I've never even entered, but I, I did an inventory. I was using VG Collect but I think I'm just gonna redo my inventory just as a Google Sheet. <laughs> it's not as, it's it's not necessarily like, well. I've been, I've been inventorying other media in the house, like our DVDs and Blu-rays and um, uh, books. Mostly just to prevent us, so we have access to, like, mostly just to prevent us from duplicating anything if we're, if we're out go, going to garage sales or thrift shops or something like that. Which... If you have, if you have... If you have a if you have a collection that's extensive enough that you can't remember whether or not you own something, maybe you don't necessarily need to be adding to it. <laughs> but I made I made sheets for our for our books and for our DVDs and uh, for our books and movies. I made a. I made sheets and it just seems like I just seems like I should make one for the games as well. It actually started and it actually started because I made a I made a Google sheet for the games that we've beaten on the stream our victories list I used to keep I used to keep a uh, I used to keep a record of our victories in the discord I just had a channel where I would just list I would just list things um, every month I would I would write up a list of the games that we'd beaten in chronological order <laughs> which is not really convenient for browsing and if you're in the discord you might have noticed I haven't updated it in forever and that's because I've been copying it over to a Google sheet 
and uh, it's almost up to date there. I think I think Animal Well is the only thing that's not included currently, which we just finished, kind of. I don't know. I don't know what a Animal Well is a confusing game. I'm not like we've we've seen two credit rolls, um, and I'm not. And I know we haven't still haven't finished everything, so it's very perplexing. I don't really know what qualifies as beating the game. But I made that, uh, I made that list and that was then what made me, that was what made me, making that list is what inspired me to start listifying everything in our house, basically. Just making it up here to the Phantom Tower is... Never mind. Oh, no.
Hey next, welcome in. Death, taxes, and jump king. <laughs> yep. Reaper's gonna the 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 three 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 people you can always count on the Grim Reaper, Uncle Sam, and Agent Frowny. I actually have an Uncle Sam. He doesn't look like he doesn't look anything like the guy on the posters though. Need to reach that like uh, I need to reach that Zen state where my uh, where my brain is like just the right amount of shut down that I don't over or underthink the jumps. No. This part does. This part does get hard when you don't play for a couple nights because the tower here does get does does become very difficult when you don't play for a few nights because there are a lot of jumps here that that require pretty specific timings. <laughs> there are a lot of free there are a lot of free jumps in the tower. Probably more than I think you would expect but there are a lot that require very specific timing and a, a couple nights away make it very easy to forget what those are supposed to feel like it's 
That's why my advice. My advice to anyone picking up Jump King is play it every day. What what worked for me, what worked for me to, to beat this game was play it two hours every day. I struggled with this game for months and months. Arguably years. There were long there were long breaks. There were there were very long breaks. But I struggled this game for a really long time before I before I finally It was playing it every day is what let me finally make progress. Like meaningful progress. You can make progress. Like I made lots of I made lots and lots of progress playing it infrequently, but at a at a certain point, at a certain point, it gets the difficulty becomes such that if you're not playing it every day, it becomes very difficult to improve. And I was stuck in that zone for a long time. I didn't appreciate like I didn't appreciate that the game had become so difficult that only consistency in practice was going to get me through to the end. I was sure I was sure I could play the whole game the way that I'd played the first, you know, that I the way that I'd played for the first like several areas and that was a mistake. That was a mistake. <sighs> it's okay. It's all okay.
I don't know if we've talked about this before on the stream, but I don't know why I'm thinking about it now. <laughs> but I'm thinking about... I'm thinking about, like, A Christmas Carol and The Grinch, right? Like, like Ebenezer Scrooge and The Grinch. Like, the thing is, like, when someone is, when someone is being, like, you know, a real stick in the mud around the holidays, <laughs> then you might, you know, you might call them a, a Scrooge or a Grinch. But the thing is, those characters... <laughs> The whole point of their story is that they had a change of heart by the end. <laughs> and and yet, like, they're still saddled to where, like, their names are synonymous with, like, the, the, the grumpy, miserable character that they begin the story as. <laughs> and not the, uh... And not the, like, uh, the, like, a big-hearted, kind character that they become by the end. And I think that, uh... That's a real shame, right? Like, we need to make some efforts to turn that around. I think, uh... I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make that, I'm gonna make that my personal, my personal m mission in life. <laughs> around the, around the holidays, if I ever spot anyone who's like, really getting into the spirit or they're like being really generous or something i'm gonna say wow you know you're a real grinch <laughs> and they're gonna and they're gonna think it's an insult but i'll explain no it's it's a compliment remember the end of the story he became a good guy <laughs>
We're coming up on we're coming up on 60 hours of the Ghost of the Babe playthrough. And now our first the first playthrough we did New Babe Plus. And the first playthrough took 92 and a half hours, so so far we're only at we're only we're, we're approaching we're getting close to, to two-thirds of that time so I've still got I've still got you know a little over a 30 hour window to make this playthrough better than our first playthrough <laughs> but I uh I am somewhat doubtful <laughs> No. You there. No. <sighs> I forgot about the Tetris block over there. Tetris block that's over there. I don't really know why it exists. No. No. These jumps are difficult. And scary. <sighs> 
Everything in this game is difficult and scary, by the way. Here's the Halted Ruin, by the way. Which is uh, an area where our physics change. It's very difficult to plan your jumps here because... The physics change mid-jump as you pass through the waterfalls. The effect of that is basically you have to basically you have to undercharge most of your jumps is sort of what the effect of this area is. So our PB is like, it's two screens above this, I think. Two or three screens above the one we're currently on. I've been higher than this screen. I think this is the highest screen I've reached. No. This is tough. No, that's a way, way overshot. Oh. All the way back down to the cat to the cats. Oh, that's gross. Well, we were doing alright there for a moment. We didn't quite tire PB, but we got real close. I'm I'm actually pretty happy with where we got. I can call tonight I can call tonight a success. You may not agree with me, but I feel successful. <laughs> just you know, just getting up there back onto that screen, I think considering how long it's been. I think that's pretty good. And who knows? We still got a while to go yet. We might we might 
We might make it back up there. It's not completely impossible. Just mostly impossible. Conqueror Worm, welcome in. Thank you for the 30 stream streak. That's amazing. 30 streams. You've, uh... I've either been real unobservant, or you've done a lot of lurking. And, uh... I'm very grateful for it. Thank you. Good luck in your jumping adventure. Just a matter of time before you find the elusive ghost of the babe. Hey, thank you for the vote of confidence. I could use that. I'm, uh... I'm feeling confident. I know I'm gonna beat it someday. Not necessarily soon. So I don't always sound very confident. But I know we're gonna beat it. But, uh... Boy, to have... That external validation does help a lot. <laughs> Uh, usually just lurk. Hey, that's uh, that's perfectly fine by me. I uh, I thank you for it. I'm a I'm a heavy lurker. I lurk I lurk way more than I chat. I actually don't mind that uh, that halted ruin up there, even though the physics of that area are kind of weird. It's actually, it's actually not that difficult to wrap your mind around the way that area works. Like I find, even though I haven't made it all the way through through that section yet, I I find that area easier to deal with than the uh, than the cat tower here. It's just the thing is, like if I miss a jump in the cat tower, I stay in the cat tower. So that, like, the cat tower seems easier. Well, no, it doesn't. Well, it does it? I don't know. I spend more time here. It seems like it should be easier, but it's not. The, the, halted, the halted ruin is actually much easier. It's just that the penalties are more severe when you make a mistake. Up there. Down here, down here, you know, there's basically no penalty for a fall. It's funny because like I don't really I don't really feel punished unless I fall out of the current area. I when I miss the, you know, it's annoying. It's a, you know, it's not it doesn't, it's not a good feeling, but like it feels it feels much better to miss the last jump of the cat tower than it does to miss the first jump of the phantom tower even though you fall for essentially an identical amount that uh that switch in scenery is like what is what really does it <laughs> or really makes me feel the the impact of my of my fall That cat down there can speak English, by the way. 
I don't know about the other ones, but this one right here, this cat can speak English. He just pretends not to. But one time, one time when we fell, he said, why don't you try landing on your feet instead of your face? It's the only time I've seen him, it's the only time I've seen him speak English, but he did do it once. No. Hey Greg, welcome in. Welcome to Jump King and uh, Battle Toads a little later. Got about half an hour of Jump King left, roughly. Not doing, not doing super amazing tonight, but we did almost tie our PB. We made it to this. We made it to the same screen. So. I feel I feel good. We've had a you know, considering I haven't played in a little while, I feel I feel like we did good for tonight. I'll have higher expectations of myself tomorrow. 
Hope you're doing well, Greg, and uh, thank you again for joining us. Are you, uh, hey, can I ask you a question, Greg? Uh, if you, uh, I'm curious, are you familiar with the game Trials of Mana? You got Animal Well today. Oh, right on. <laughs> Animal Well, wow, Animal Well is a great game, but it is a frustrating game. That game had me, that game had me bent out of shape. Um, I was, so about Trials of Mana, I was just wondering, um, do you know, is there a way to play the original version of the game in english like has has it had because i think there was a remake that came out on the switch but has the has the original like pixel art version of it also been released in the west officially or do you have to use like a fan translation i'm curious because I recently found a couple other games in the series and added them to my collection. But I don't know, I don't know if there's a way to legitimately own that particular title. The collection of Mana is on the Switch, so that has so that has the original Trials of Mana in it. I know I could have just I know I could have just googled this information too but I didn't uh, I didn't think about it but uh I know that you're a uh, you're a uh, you're a RPG guy so I thought since I had you here you might know First 3 games in that series Trials is the third okay so that that might be something to pick up then cuz I got I got Dawn of Mana and Legend of Mana and I already have Final Fantasy Adventure and Secret of Mana, so I was like, hmm. I don't know that I'm going to get every game in the series, but I thought that I thought if I that I like, I don't I don't know the series super well, but I was like. I thought, yeah, Trials of Mana was the third one, but I wasn't sure if there was only the remake or if the, there was the original. So yeah, that collection, I might, I might see about picking a copy of that up at some point. Thank you for your, uh, thank you for sharing your knowledge. I actually really liked the Final Fantasy adventure, and so I'm, I'm looking forward I'm looking forward to uh, to playing Secret of Mana at some point. When we played Final Fantasy Adventure, I titled I the two main characters in that game are are nameable. I think their default names are just boy and girl. And I renamed them I renamed them uh, Frown and Smile. 
to be cute, and then uh, I named them, but I didn't. I didn't write the words. I named them colon parenthesis for frown for frown and smile. Just the parenthesis go in the different direction, and uh, I really shouldn't have done that because it made the text an unreadable mess whenever they talk to each other. It was so, it was so confusing. I <laughs> uh, only have the first three, still want to get the others beyond that eventually. So I, I didn't really know, I didn't really know much about the series, but almost like, like, completely coincidentally, almost back to back, I found, uh, I came across a copy of Dawn of Mana at a pawn shop, and I found Legend of Mana um, in a in a used game store or a used game section of a used media store. Um, like immediately afterward, I was like, "Well, this is this is interesting." I picked up Dawn of Mana because I only wanted a few bucks for it, and then when I saw Legend of Mana, I was just like, well, I have to get this because I bought the other one. <laughs> I remember you streaming that game, actually. Yeah, that was, uh, that was fun. That was, uh, that was a good game. I just remembered we still have, we still have never finished Brave Fencer Musashi. <laughs> I thought about that. I thought about that because I was thinking of the mana games, and I bought, I got Secret of Mana when I used to work at a used bookstore, and I uh, I got Brave Fencer Musashi at the same time, and so just uh, just there was a sort of chain of thought there, but it has reminded me that we we made it to the last boss of that in that game like two years ago, and I never finished it. <laughs> I never remember it. I never remember to play it at a could like I never remember it at a convenient time where we could actually play it. It's gonna, if I ever do, if I ever do go back to finish it, it's gonna be so difficult to just jump in and just do the last boss after having not played it for so many years. Uh, might be kind of funny, though. gonna get some coffee right on i'm gonna step away for a moment as well actually because uh the laundry machine just finished again so i need to add some stuff to the dryer and i think i'm gonna take a moment to check on the dog too so i'm gonna be gone for a few minutes and uh, when i get back we'll play just a little more jump king and then we'll switch to uh battle toads i was gonna say we'll switch to bubsy <laughs> the art the, the Bubsy artwork up there had me feeling confused. <laughs> We're not going to play Bubsy. 
<laughs> we're gonna play some more Jump King, and then we'll play. Uh, we'll play. Uh, why did I push my desk away before I turned off my mic? Um, we'll play a little bit more Jump King, and then we'll do Battle Toads. <laughs> I'll see you in a, just a few minutes, my friends. And we're back, my friends. Sorry about the extremely long break. <laughs> Thank you for standing by. I had to, uh... I had to give the doggo plenty of time to do what he needs to do, and... I'm still not even completely confident it was enough time. Ah. <laughs> uh. I'm really hoping the medicine and the pumpkin that we gave him kicks in soon. <laughs> Welcome in, uh, Epi Pen. Thank you for uh, to thank you for joining us. Rip Frowny, <laughs> Zergling says, yeah, pretty much. Uh. Welcome to Jump King. We're just gonna play for a, for a, a short while longer, and then we're gonna switch to Battle Toads for the uh, for the next part of the night. I don't want to overpromise and underdeliver because I do that all the time. But if we beat Battletoad swiftly, we may even have time for uh, for a third something. Not yet sure what that might be. Battletoads on the NES is a game I want to keep playing over and over again and continue to get better and better at. Battletoads on the Genesis is a game I want to beat once and then forget it exists. Genesis Battletoads is just no good. Genesis Battletoads is a weird game because it's so much easier. Genesis Battletoads is so much easier than NES Battletoads. Except for the parts that are, like, hard because they're broken. <laughs> like, everything... I feel like everything that's intentionally done in Genesis Battletoads actually makes the game easier. <laughs> Well, then there are, there are just a few places where it's just so broken that it's so much worse. Me and the kids have been watching the Basho recently. Grand Sumo Tournament. Ice skating. We noticed circles similar in size to sumo. So naturally, today we engaged in ice skating sumo. I would be, I would be terrified that. I would be terrified if I tried to sumo wrestle someone on ice skates. First of all, I can't stand on ice skates, so I would automatically lose. But even if I could, I would be terrified that we'd tumble over each other and accidentally slice each other's legs off with our with our ice skate blades. Uh. I 
I'm assuming my fears are completely unfounded, as, uh, I imagine you wouldn't be sharing the story if everyone wasn't okay, but... Ice skate blades really aren't that sharp, but Kiki was all out just in case, but I'd, yeah, I'd, I would have, yeah. That, uh... I like the inventiveness. I don't know how I don't know a whole lot about uh, I don't know a whole lot about sumo as a uh, as a sport. It could uh, it could be interesting to learn about. The kids did like that slapping was allowed. The kid who's the weakest at skating likes it, uh, likes it a lot too. Worst skater, but best kid, sumo wrestler. That's, uh, that's interesting how that works out. That's not, that's not what I would have predicted. Arm strength does matter when you're trying to force your opponent to the ground after all. It's true, but I uh I would uh I would expect that I would expect that having a uh a firm footing would be like one of if not the most crucial element. I would uh, I would assume the ability to like manage your footing would be would be what the uh what it was you know what was more important than anything else and i ass i assume low skating skill correlates to bad footing <laughs> hey tuesday welcome in happy tuesday hope you are doing well today my friend 
you are. You're right at the end of Jump King. I'd like to... I'd really like to try and make one more run at the Phantom Tower. And then I think... I think if we hit the tower... That'll be our last... That'll be our last run at that. And when we hit the... When we hit the floor again after seeing the tower we'll call it a night with jump king so maybe within the next 10 to 15 minutes we'll be switching to battle toads then we'll do this again tomorrow night and i'll hopefully be refreshed and make lots of progress tomorrow de-rusted and ready to go it's all wishful thinking though In sumo, you lose even if the top of your foot touches the ground, or if any part of you leaves the ring. Yeah, well, I did. I didn't know about the rule about the top of the foot. I knew that. Uh, I knew that you had to stay completely within the ring. That's why I thought that footwork was so important. The way you worded that, it says, like, if any part of you leaves the ring, it makes me wonder, like, what if a piece of you breaks off? <laughs> what if, like... What if, like, uh, I don't know, like, what if your opponent hits you and, like, one of your teeth come out and it falls out of the ring? Does that... Do you lose? I guess you do. <laughs> but I don't know, because I don't know if a piece break... <laughs> it's, I'm speaking like, like human beings are deconstructible, like Lego, like Lego, like Lego figures. <laughs> but I, like, I, like... I would think that, I would think that it might be justifiable, though, to say that, like, if a piece of you breaks off and falls out of the ring, like, maybe the match could still keep going <laughs> but I mean that's pretty severe Kept my dinner simple tonight. Three eggs over easy, a pound of steak, 400 mils of milk. Jelly and I had beef tacos. Our dinner was very simple as well. And tomorrow, we'll probably have beef tacos again. <laughs> Might have tacos. Jelly, Jelly's probably going to have tacos no matter what. The real question is whether or not I'll have tacos. Because I keep dreaming about... I keep dreaming about making fish. And then I keep not making it, so... I might have fish while Jelly has tacos, but... We'll see. With the dog, with the doggo being unwell, I don't want to do anything that requires, like, any um, significant amount of work. Even cooking a simple dinner. <laughs> you could have fish tacos. I could theoretically have fish tacos. The problem with that is... Every time I see, like, a recipe for fish tacos, they always include something that I don't eat. Something that's, like, 
creamy or mayonnaise-y or tartar saucy, which uh, is an absolute no-go for me. Like, I always see, I always see fish tacos are, like, frequently topped with, like, a coleslaw-type substance. Never gonna happen. <laughs> Never gonna happen that I'm gonna eat that, so. I don't, I don't really know how to build a fish taco. Yeah, I could, but I'm not sure, like, I'm not sure how to compensate for what... For what I'm taking out. Right, because I could just I could just cook some tilapia and throw it in a tortilla and call it a day, but that's a pretty like that's a pretty weak fish taco, right? I feel like there should be a little more something to it. Worst case scenario, you eat okay fish tacos. Yeah. I don't know. I just haven't... Uh... There's also the issue, so the thing is, if I were going to make myself some fish tacos, I would want to make them with homemade tortillas. And if I'm making homemade tortillas, Jelly is going to want to eat something with the, with the homemade tortillas, and she's not going to eat fish. So then I'm going to have to make, like, chicken fajitas or something like that for Jelly to have in her tortillas. And if I'm going to have to cook that, then I don't want to have to cook two entrees. <laughs> Uh, like I could, I'd rather just make the make double the chicken in the same pan, and then I don't have to. So that that's that's really why I never end up making them. It's because because Jelly would need them. <laughs> so that so I'm disincentivized from experimenting. The best case scenario of a fish taco horror story to talk about in the stream for several days in a row. <laughs> Ooh. I don't have to worry about... I don't have to worry about having stuff to talk about on the stream. Having nothing to talk about on the stream has never stopped me before. <laughs> In fact, it's it's the most common situation. <laughs> I live I live pretty simply and pretty quietly, so I don't from day to day <laughs> As often as I stream, it's very difficult for me to have enough adventures to fill up the the fill up the amount of time that we're gonna be on the stream. <laughs> uh. If I streamed like if I streamed like two hours a week. There'd be no downtime in the conversation, but, uh, I can't possibly do enough to fill five hours every night. Uh, and, uh, and, you know, the thing is, like, I don't want to stream just two hours a week, because that would mean I'm only playing video games two hours a week. I mean, I could play video games off stream, but that's no fun.
Once you get used to once you get used to having people around when you play, or at least for me. I've gotten so used to having people around when I play that I that I'm I'm not I'm not so keen to to play when I'm all alone. I can't help but feel like you're getting worse at the cat tower. Uh, it ebbs and flows. I, sometimes I'm sometimes I do all right. Most of the time I do badly. My skill level comes in like the tide. <laughs> Laziness is a huge factor in what we make for food, huh? I often don't have bacon because it sounds like too much work. You can't, uh, I mean, cooking a new, cooking a new recipe is always daunting. Hey, we- No! I spoke too soon. Hey, we made it out of the cat tower. <laughs> That's what I was trying to say before. <laughs> but then I'd focus on what I was saying and not the jump. Uh... might not make it out of the phantom tower again tonight but please just don't fall to it back down into the bog <laughs> i don't care if i don't make it up to the halted tower but i really just don't want to fall back down to the bog at the end of the at the end of the night <sighs> Let's go. Let's go. All right, we got to check out this area again for a little while. Uh oh, I almost immediately ruined it. <laughs> Frowny sets the flag up for falling back down to the bog. 
I was hoping I was hoping by talking about it I could anti jinx myself into not doing it. I think this is a new PB. I don't think I've ever stood up here before. It was pretty short-lived. I think we hit a new PB. I don't think I ever actually went onto that screen before. Because last time we were up there, I had to jump over to agitate the bird that we're chasing. So... You know, I really didn't want to fall all the way back down here. <laughs> That's it, my friends. We're done for the night. Um, we saw the Halted Ruin twice, and we stood somewhere new, so look at that. And it's not the bog. No, I don't feel bad at all. I don't feel bad at all. We stood somewhere new. That's progress. Let's not be, uh... You know, we the glass... The glass is not 99% full. The, the glass is not 99% empty. It's 1% full. <laughs> we need to be... We need to have a glass 1% full perspective. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm alright with this. We'll play this again tomorrow. I'm gonna back out now. <sighs> I'm alright with that. We did okay. And technically the glass is always full, it's just the proportion of the air that changes. And at least some of that air, and at least some of that air is saturated with moisture. So... Yeah. That was Jump King for night, my friends. We're going to switch gears. We're going to move over to um, Battletoads on the Genesis. So, uh, excuse me just a moment while I begin to make the necessary changes here. Let me go ahead and just uh, cut that off. I'm going to need to live on the other side of the screen. We'll play Jump King at the start of the stream tomorrow night. Like I said, and... Uh, Hopefully do even better. I think we're going to do Jump King and Splatterhouse 2 tomorrow night. 
I know lots of people are excited that Splatterhouse 2 is still a thing. <laughs> Believe me, I want to beat that. I want to beat the challenge and retire Splatterhouse 2 indefinitely. <laughs> I'm uh, I'm as tired of seeing it. I'm as tired, if not more, of seeing it on the stream as at least a lot of people. <laughs> I love uh, I love the game, but uh, I do I do want to get my challenge run and just be done with it for however long I get to be done with it. But we'll work on that. Uh, we'll work on that tomorrow night. Um, give me just a moment to get the, uh, to get the Genesis. All right. And yet you keep trying the challenge run. Of course, you know, I'm not a quitter, Zergling. Okay, looks like the mic is still good. Let's pull up the game. Where are you? Uh-oh, yeah, something is, oh no. Where's my capture device? This isn't good. Did I plug in, oh, thank goodness, I plugged in the wrong thing. Okay, that's good. Let's try that again. There's the game. It's kind of all stretched out. That's better. The thing about Splatter House 2, like the worst thing about the challenge run is that I know I can do it. I know for a fact I can do it because I've been so close. I just... I got a little bit tripped up by nerves and bad luck. And yeah, watch out. This, uh, this might be very loud. Uh, headphone users, watch out. Beware. Okay, I think that's good. Looks like we're all set, so we can finally cut the VOD right here. <laughs> 